Hey, what's going on, dudes and dudettes? I am the Mystical Green Beanie, and as many of you know, I love to make video game pitches for superheroes who have either never had a major video game adaptation, never will get a major video game adaptation, or probably have had some video game adaptations, but were about as fun as injecting jello into your veins while getting sounded with a cactus by your grandma in front of your entire family, or were just shy of greatness to the point of being so frustrated that you want to cut open a pregnant giraffe and cry yourself to sleep inside their uterus. And I've actually written quite a few scripts for video game pitches, but many of them can easily be summed up in a few sentences and don't exactly warrant a 20 minute video that's going to take a week and a half to edit. Plus, a lot of those characters were Avengers characters, and with the Avengers game coming out, and at least based off the mechanics that have been described to us, a lot of those ideas that I had have already been implemented into the game, so there's really no point in making videos about those guys anymore. But yeah, there's dozens of others, but today I'm only going to pick five, because these are the real easy ones. And besides, uh, the games I'm going to be listing are basically clones of other games anyways, so I think it's going to be easy for y'all to pick up what I'm putting down. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Number one, The Punisher. So, my basic pitch for a Punisher game is Wolfenstein or Doom, but set in the Marvel Universe. Boom. It's so simple. In fact, it's so simple, I'm actually pretty angry that Marvel Games hasn't contacted Bethesda Studios to have them do it. Like, come on, just replace Nazis and demons with mobsters and gangsters and AIM robots and terrorists, and, well, actually that's it. Now keep the over-the-top and hilariously violent glory kills from the Doom games, keep the over-the-top sci-fi weapons and hyper-gritty aesthetic from Wolfenstein, and there you have it. I mean, hell, you can even keep the same hyper-violent, somewhat silly tone that's found in both Wolfenstein and Doom, because that works perfectly with the gallows humor-infused satirical nature of the Punisher. Or, at least the version that was established by Garth Ennis and Louis LaRosa in Punisher Max, which, let's be honest here, that's the only version of the character that matters at this point. Because seriously, who the fuck wants an Angel of Death Assassin Punisher, or a War Machine Punisher? God, that really happened, didn't it? Comics are weird, yo. Number two, Hellboy. I think Hellboy would be such a fun character to adapt in the medium of gaming, because he's a character that's trapped in mythology, and I mean that in the best way possible. So many Hellboy stories are basically folklore myths and legends that already exist, except now, Hellboy and probably a few Nazis have been dropped into the fray, and I think that's perfect for giving players enemy variety. And I'd keep the game somewhat simple. Uh, something happens in an Eastern European village, and Hellboy has to investigate a creepy castle. And the game would have a very similar aesthetic to something like The Evil Within, or Dark Souls, or The Order 1886, but it would play very similarly to the more recent God of War game, with a heavy emphasis on combat centered around the right hand of Doom, as well as various other melee weapons, projectile weapons, and mystical relics that he would acquire throughout the game. But much like The Evil Within, Dark Souls, and The Order 1886, uh, this game would be very horror-inspired, and it would feel very claustrophobic and haunting, and like, at any moment, an enemy can pop out of nowhere, and even after you've dealt with them, they could still come back, keeping the player on their toes. Number 3. Hawkeye, Black Widow, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Alright, so I know I said that I wasn't going to put any Avengers on this list, but you're here now, so you might as well just hear me out. Now, my pitch for this game would be very, 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 very simple. It's Sniper Elite. Literally, this game is just Sniper Elite, but with a more complex combat system. Maybe something free flow, like the Arkham games, or even that Mad Max game that came out a few years ago that everyone forgot about. But even then, this game's primary focus would be stealth and sniping because I think that suits these characters as secret agents more so than making an open-world beat-em-up game. Also, something more linear and story-based would work for the overall narrative, in my opinion. This game would also have two different playstyles to accommodate the dual protagonist of Natasha Romanoff and Clint Barton. Uh, to make a comparison, 
Uh, it's like the difference between Batman and Catwoman in the Arkham games, with Natasha feeling lighter and more quick on her feet, and of course more combat oriented, while Clint is more of a stealth type, but when it comes to combat scenarios, he feels relatively heavier, but at the end of the day, uh, he's still more suited for long range combat. Number 4, Green Arrow. Alright, I know I literally just pitched a game with Hawkeye in it, so you're probably thinking that my Green Arrow game would be a clone of my Hawkeye Black Widow game, which is a clone of Sniper Elite. Wrong. So basically, my pitch for a Green Arrow game is Horizon Zero Dawn, but set in Star City. I mean, there would still be wilderness sections in the game, because there'd be flashbacks to when Oliver was on the island where he was stranded, but for all intents and purposes, this game would be primarily set in the fictional city of Seattle. B because, as we all know, Seattle doesn't exist. <laughs> oh man, I meant to say Star City, but... Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna keep that in. Uh, <laughs> so, my ideal Green Arrow game would play a lot like Horizon Zero Dawn, except it wouldn't be centered around hacking robot animals. In fact, that whole mechanic would be stripped from the game completely. However... I'd keep the trick arrow and archery mechanics almost exactly the same as Horizon, uh, same as combat, since Oliver Queen is, well, not that great a fighter, or at the very least, that's my favorite interpretation of the character. Uh, so any combat would be based around hitting people with your bow, much like Aloy does in Horizon. I'd also keep the parkour system the same as Horizon because I think it could work just as well within an urban setting as it does in a wild one. However, I would switch out the game's animal riding system for riding a motorcycle or his trademark aero car. But yeah, my ideal Green Arrow game is basically Horizon Zero Dawn, but set in an open world Seattle slash Star City. And instead of fighting a bunch of robot dinosaurs and rival tribes, you're fighting gangsters and metahumans. Number 5, Static Shock. Literally, just get Sucker Punch to do a copy-paste job from their first two Infamous games, and give Cole McGrath Blackface, and you have yourself a Static Shock game. In fact, I think that saying it's Cole McGrath and Blackface is an insult to Static. I mean, obviously that was the joke, but no. What I mean is that Infamous is basically a Static Shock game in Whiteface. Basically. Think about it. There's an explosion, and one of the guys who was in it gets electricity powers, and he lives in this once great metropolis that's kinda gone to shit and is controlled by superpowered gangs. Dude, it's static. That's what this game is. Yo. I think Infamous culturally appropriated Static Shock. <laughs> oh my god, that's so bad. <laughs> oh man, that's terrible. Anyways. I'd keep this game very similar to the first Infamous game in regards to combat and what you can do with your powers. However, instead of there being a parkour mechanic in the game and making that your main mode of transportation, I'd have traversal center around flight using manhole covers, which could also be used in combat scenarios. I'd also nix the hero-villain morality mechanic because I don't think that would suit a character like Virgil Hawkins, who's just innately a good person who somewhat fetishizes the idea of being a superhero. Also, I think doing a gang war story and approaching it from the perspective of a naive teen superhero is inherently fascinating, and it worked very well for the original Milestone Static comics, which DC refuses to reprint. Whack. But yeah, those are five superhero games that I think could work. Again, these are just some loose pitches, nothing too detailed, but I'm sure the basic idea came across pretty clearly. But what about you guys? What are your thoughts regarding my video game ideas? Do these game ideas sound interesting at all? Are there any tweaks that you'd make to them? Should I go into further detail about any and make a full game pitch video like I did for Daredevil or Wonder Woman or The Flash or all those other guys? Let me know down below in the comment section. Also, if you like this video, hit the like button, share, support the channel. And if you want to see more content like this, all you have to do is subscribe. I'm the Mystical Green Beanie. Thanks for watching, and as always, until next time, adios, nachos, adios. Show me what you